What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be going over the nine new go cards in NBA 2K20, my team. I'm going to be telling you guys which of these guys I think are going to be worth picking up. So go packs are going to be coming out in about, probably about 90 minutes or so after this video comes out. So hopefully th these pictures will have loaded by the end of this anyway. So we have point guard, point guard, point, point guard power forward Giannis and point guard small forward LeBron anyway. So... Let's have a look at Kevin Durant first. Okay, the cards are here by looks of things. Everyone except Tim Duncan. Okay, so just looking at card art. I'm trying to think which one's the best. I like Giannis. I like, I think, is T-Mac, Kevin Durant or T-Mac probably? Oh, no, no, no. Best card art is actually, it's it's the Jazz one. It's Stockton. These go card arts. Man, fair play to 2K. That's all I'm going to say. The card art this year has been top notch. It has been top notch. Okay, so Kevin Durant... What's, what are this hexagons for? Like, uh, he's had a lot of nicknames, like, Durantula was, like, the Second Coming was a nickname as well. I don't think the hexagon has ever been a nickname of Kevin Durant, has it been? Am I missing something here? Am I missing something? Why are there hexagons here? Okay, um... I, I just don't get it. I just don't get it at all. I'm, I'm, I, I must be missing something. I must be missing some sort of nickname of Kevin Durant with this. But um, Kevin Durant has got all 99 and everything. Oh, no. He's got all 98 offensive rebound. Boo. He has 198 stat. This card's worthless. <laughs> I know. Um, 67. He's got only stage here is the only badge he doesn't have. Um, None of these are needed Hall of Fame badges, to be completely honest. So he's got every other badge, Hall of Fame, which is really good. Tendencies, he's tendo glitched. Um, let's check out his... Okay, so he's still got... He's got the best hop step in the game. Still got the Kevin Durant release. So I want to check, is Shifty his dribbling on this one as well? Yeah, so it's the same. So we got the same SIG. So this card's going to be fantastic. At the two-guard position, man, he's going to be great. He's going to be great. Do I think he'll be as good as... For me, he won't be as good as a Chris Tapps because of the way I use Chris Tapps. But he is six. Oh, he's 6'10 as well. That's big. Give him the height advantage. I don't... I'm saying this right now. I don't think he's that much better than this card here. <laughs> he's, he's just not. So if this... If anything, if this card gets pushed way down in price because of this one, then go for it. Then go for it. Um, But yeah, so Kevin Durant, the hexagon. Then we've got Dirk Nowitzki. I love how they've got like Dirk fading away in the background, which is insane. Um, Seven foot tall, seven three wingspan. I hope they change his, either his base or his upper. He's got 98 lateral quickness, 98 in his passing stats and speed with ball. He's got, how many badges do you have? He's got 72. Is that, like, that's barely more badges than Thad Young. Come on, 2K. Come on, it's barely more than Thad Young. But, uh, yeah, he's got everything you need. Stop and go would help. It, that definitely would help. Um, other than that, though, none of them are really that making much of a difference for a power force last center. Obviously, Tendo glitched, just like most cards in this game. Okay, so, oh, he's has he got Kevin Durant sigs? He's got his bad size up. He's at the pro two tween, so he can tween up and down the floor. He's got terrible behind the back, though. Does he, is this the same sigs as this card here? Yeah, it's the same as this. Did they give him a better hop step, though? They did. They gave him the best hop step in the game. They just give every card this hop step, let's be real. They've just given every card this hop step. But is it, is... His animations mean that this Derek is not going to be good. That's the problem. This Derek's not going to be good. And we've got the September God, John Stockton. This guy was... This pink time was a God in September. This card right here, not so much, because he's a 6-1 point card, I guess. He's got a 99 dunk, though, and it will be funny just dunking on people with Stockton. But, again, he's only got 67 total badges. I think he's got less total badges than Thad Young, does he? 67, no. He's got the same amount of total badges as Thad Young. There's de there is definitely there's definitely is there pink times of seventy badges. Either way though, ten no glitched of course because every guy's ten no glitched. He's got one wait is he got a one hundred driving dunk down in Z? Okay, so he's got these sigs are awful. These sigs are awful. Oh my god. Pro two move mind the back is terrible. The pro two move mind back is absolutely terrible. The pro four cross is not good either. It's like Derrick Rose's cross. It's Scotty Pippen's tween. This is terrible. 
It's a, like ultra ultra slow tween. He's these six are awful. This card's terrible, lads. This card's terrible. He's absolutely terrible. And I know it doesn't mean terrible for a go card. This card is terrible in general. Give me Dante Exum over this card. Give me like yeah, give me Dante Exum over this card. Straight up, give me Dante Exum over this card. This card is awful. And if they've guaranteed go packs coming out, you better believe we're pulling a million John Stocktons because he sucks. Then we have got Tracy McGrady. Tracy McGrady, hopefully they change the SIGs. 98, 99, basically everything. 66 Hall of Fame badges, five gold. So he's got basically everything you need. Like again, Tireless Defender, Intimidator, Interceptor. So what are his four badges? Pick and roll or deep hooks? Deep hooks would be really good to have. I really wish he had deep hooks. That is a bad badge not to have, not gonna lie. Um, either way, he's got almost everything else. 10 no glitched, of course, just like every card. Really, 2k? You don't change up his animations whatsoever? Does he have... He gets a new hop step, though, doesn't he? Yeah, he gets way better layup, anima layup package. He's a way better hop step, but... The way people use T-Mac, which is really just a 3 hunt, he's not going to feel any different than this T-Mac here, and he's not going to be that much better than this T-Mac here. I'm not going to lie. He's not going to be that much better. I was kind of hoping that they gave him juiced animations, but... Yeah, I think he's going to be good. Don't get me wrong. He's going to be a good card. I just don't think he's going to be spectacular. And his Bill Russell, please, please, Duke, give him a new release. Please give him a new release. He's got 98 three ball. It appears that the rest of the stats are 99. He's got quick draw, range extender, Hall of Fame, unpluckable. He's got 65 half badges. No flashy pass or one fake maestro. doesn't matter. Every defense badge, Hall of Fame. He's a 6'10". He's 6'10", so he's undersized for the center position. 10 no glitch, obviously. Oh, they still gave him that horrible. Oh, they didn't change his jump shot. He still got that terrible, terrible Penny Hardaway jump shot. 2K. You know what, actually? That's not the worst for a big man, I guess. Like, it's fine on Noel, I guess. It's a little bit different in playing small forward. But in playing center, I still wouldn't use him as center because he's too small. But he has got a nice hop step and he has the pro 2 tween. Just still has that bad behind the back. But at the end of the day... um. He's not going to be good. He's not going to be good. I'm saying that right now. You know who's going to be better than this guy right here? Mr. Uh, Dinosaurus Rex himself. Um, the Dinosaur, Dino Raja. He's going to be so much better than Bill. I'm saying that right now. And Eddie Curry's going to be better than Bill. Um, Jaron Jackson's going to be better than Bill. Bam Adebayo is going to be better than Bill. Bam Adebayo is legitimately going to be better than this Bill Russell. So, yeah, not great. Please. Please change his release. I'm praying 2K. Please change Tim Duncan's release. Please. We need it. We need a new release on Duncan. Okay, stats-wise, he's obviously, again, he's a go-card. He's got 99 and everything. Um, he's got every defense badge Hall of Fame. He's got 74 of the 75 badges. He's got basically everything you need. 10 no glitched, I'm guessing. Yeah, they're all 10 no glitched. Ooh, pro. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think he's going to be that good because his release is garbage. But the pro two cross with the pro three behind the back. Like, these are LaMelo Ball six, aren't they? <laughs> pro two, pro two, pro three, pro four, pro three, pro three. These are, they're LaMelo Ball. I'm pretty sure. They're either LaMelo Ball or Xavier McDaniel. Yeah. Pro two, pro two, pro three, pro four, pro three. <laughs> he's got, he's LaMelo. He, he's literally, he's a 6'11 dribble. If he had a better release, he'd be a 6'11 LaMelo Ball. They literally gave Tim Duncan LaMelo Balls dribble six. I loved it. This is hilarious. Like, so, there's some hilarious things about this game, and this is one of them. They gave him LaMelo Ball six. Like, I'm fine with no tween. I was like, oh, at least give him behind the back because of Anthony Davis. Just give him Anthony Davis a six. But no, they gave him LaMelo Ball six. 2K just being 2K, I guess. They could have changed up something, not giving him exactly LaMelo's. Let me get Hakeem. Hakeem's going to be better than Duncan... You know what, Duncan mightn't be awful. Like, he's not going to be great, but like, he might be absolutely awful. But, 98 three ball, 99 dunk. He's got 74 of 75 badges. I'd rather see stop and go, but not the biggest deal not to have that Hall of Fame. He's got a bunch of great defensive tendencies, as expected. Bad behind the back, great cross. Still got that terrible set shot 18 release. But, it's not actually that bad for a center, I'm going to say that right now. It's terrible for a wing. It was terrible for this card right here. However, it's not actually not bad for a center. 
He's still got a great hop step. He's got 99 speed. He's okay. He could be good. He could be really good. He's got the Pro 2 tween as well. And he's got decent height. He could be very solid. Especially if he ends up being cheap, he could be very solid. You know what? Duncan, if he ends up being cheap, could be a solid card as well. Now we are on to the big two. We are on to the big guns, lads. Yanis and LeBron James. Two guys that have gotten go cards in the last two weeks. And I just want to see, is there anything that's been changed from these guys and their normal go cards? How many versions of Yanis do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We have 14 Yanis cards. We have 14 Yanis cards. You can't even... You could literally... Like, you can't even put all of them into one roster if you could use dupes. But, um, yeah, so there's no point giving him 25 times because he's already an Opal. He's already a go-card. But 90, a three ball. He's got 74 to 75 buys. Are they the same as this? Wrong goat. This one only, this one has 74, 64. Okay, this one has got three extra half badges. Not entirely sure which ones they are. Tendencies and guessing are the same. Sigs and animations. Okay, so he still has the Pro 3 cross, which I'm pretty sure he had anyway. Yeah. He still got his release. He still got the normal two behind the back, the glitchy one. Still got that same layout package. So, yeah, he's going to be unbelievable. He's literally, he's going to be this card right here with limitless range and half quick draw. This card's so good. This pig dog chance is still so good. But he's going to be really good. One good thing is, though, is that this Yanis right here is so good that it might push the price of it down. The small forward slash power forward. Like, that's kind of what I'm hoping. But yeah, like if you have an unlimited fund, buy this card because like, at this stage of the game, it's the best card in the game. So, um, yeah, it's one of these two guys are the best cards in the game. So LeBron James, still 6'9". But it's, oh, he's an inch taller. Was this LeBron James 6'9"? No, he was six foot eight. He grew an inch. He grew an inch. 2K, 2K. Why is there no Opal LeBron James from the Miami Heat when he was actually in his prime? When he was not only nearly winning unanimous MVP, when he was a when he was robbed of defensive player of the year, and I love Marcus Saul, but LeBron was robbed of 2013 defensive player of the year. He was robbed of an award and one vote away from winning defensive player of the year and unanimous MVP. And finals MVP, as well as putting up arguably the best Game 7 in NBA history in his Game 7 of the 2013 NBA Finals. And he hit the dagger. It wasn't the Kyrie shot. He hit the dagger in that game. Why is there a LeBron? Like, people forget, whatever, but 2016, the greatest thing ever. Um, LeBron James, 2018, carrying a terrible team through a terrible Eastern Conference. The 2013 season was his best season ever. And he doesn't even have an Opal for it. He has a freaking... Pink diamond card that sucks. <sighs> 2K. 2K being 2K, I guess. But, um, 10 no glitch. Got a bad behind the back. Still got a great hop step. Great pro, um, pro egg tween. So, yeah, he is... It's between him and Simmons for the best point guard in the game. Not gonna... Actually, between him, Giannis, and Simmons. They are the big three in terms of non-senders in this game. Power, um, LeBron James, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and Ben Simmons are the three best cards in the game that aren't centers. Out of these cards right here, I think, depending on the price, I think we're looking at one of the best two guards in the game in Kevin Durant. No question about that. He is one of the best two guards. I think I would still take Kawhi over him. I think I would still take Kawhi and Rudy and Chris Stapps, but he is right up there with the best wings in the game. Don't get me wrong. He's right up there. I will probably buy him. If I can afford him, I'll probably put him in over my Vince Carter. Tracy McGrady as well, one of the best wings in the game. I still would take one of the Pro A dribble glitchers over T Mac, but still elite. Bill Russell, not a great card, not gonna lie. Dirk's gonna be not very good. Stockton is going to be Stockton is going to play worse for you than Diamond Malcolm Brogdon. I'm not even kidding. Stockton is not as good as Diamond Malcolm Brogdon. And then we have got Duncan and Hakeem. Depending on how bad Duncan's release is on half quick draw, it might actually not be too bad. If it's not too bad, he's going to be like a, a similar level player to like a Carl Malone or an Anthony Davis, but I don't think he'll be elite. Hakeem is probably going to be that next level. He's going to be like Embiid level, maybe a little bit better than Embiid, but he's going to be a best, a Wiseman level player. And that's like a best case scenario for Hakeem Olajuwon, but he's still going to be good. Like 
I don't think calling someone a Wiseman level player, like a top 15 card in the game is a bad thing. But then you've got these two guys that are elite. So yeah, that is pretty much it. These are the new go cards in NBA 2K20, my team. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.